doesn't like a compliment? I mean, come on. Who doesn't like getting a compliment? We all like getting it. We don't seek it or need it, but it's always nice, right? And it's, it's kind of a good feeling when someone says you smell good. It's a good feeling. Can't deny that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to feel good, right? We feel good. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta and I love talking about perfumes and sometimes some other luxury items too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the big red thing that says subscribe, kind of like that. Then hit the little bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so today's video is my most complimented perfumes. Now, let me preface this by saying, I wear what I wanna wear, I wear what I like, because the vast majority of the time that I'm wearing that perfume, I'm the one in presence and I'm the one being subjected to it most. But these are the top nine. I know, nine, not even 10, because I couldn't embellish. There's literally nine that stand out as my most complimented fragrances. Trust me, it killed me. It kills me. I wanted it to be 10. Like, I really was like, I went through my entire collection of hundreds and I'm like, nope, those are the nine. Those are the nine. So here we are with the nine. I'm just gonna get the first one out of the way because I talk about it all the time. You probably know it's gonna be on this list. And it is Amani C. Fiori. It, it is one of my favorites. So I really did think, well, maybe it's because I wear it so much. But I wear a lot of fragrances around people and this one always gets compliments when I wear it, like every time, especially if I'm outdoors and it catches in the breeze and people get a whiff of it, they will be compelled to say something to me about, oh my gosh, that smells so good and they'll go on into what they smell. Like, gosh, they get the orange blossom and something sweet and some vanilla and some fruit and yeah, there's the black currant and vanilla and musk. There's a little orange blossom in there and it smells so beautiful, delicious and girly. And yeah, it's for the United States. They've discontinued this silly. I know they have like 10 other flankers out there. And this is the one I really like. Um, Armani C. Fiori. The next one, I was really surprised I got compliments on it when and where I did because I thought I was being discreet, put a little like underneath my clothes and like on my neck, like for me, because sometimes when I know I'm gonna be in a stressful environment, like just having something good to smell distracts me in a good way. And it makes me feel good even when I know I'm having to deal with tension elsewhere, it's like, Focus on this good smell, Greta. Focus on this good smell. This is all good. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about those angry people. And I got people walking into the room saying, somebody smells like a delicious snack. Like, and again, inappropriate comments for a workplace. But I was like, oh, I think that's me. And then a little embarrassed even that they smelled it 12 feet away. Just walking into the room I was in, it was a little crazy. But it's Sergeoff's Lyra from the Cosmorati line. And it is just that, like lemon, cookie, caramel, pastry-like vanilla. And there's always that Zergeoff vanilla musk, but it's definitely an edible treat is what you'll get. There's definitely that girly cake-likeness to this. Um, but you definitely like lemon and caramel and cake and vanilla musk and it's yummy and I was shocked because I didn't think I had that much on it was just a quick squirt I had some in my bag and but yeah lots of compliments on this one <laughs> yeah I myself I'm a little tired of it because I've worn it a bunch and there's so many other Zergeoffs I like but it never fails to get me compliments Lyra who the next one, um, hmm, yeah, mad compliments on this one. Tiziana Terenzi, Kirka. Oh, look, it matches my outfit. I swear I didn't plan it. Kirka, 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 Kirka. 
Kirka is another fruity fragrance. And, I, you know, I'm going to see a trend here. Uh, it's, gosh, I smell like passion fruit and pear and fruity. And the one thing about this fragrance is I feel like as it dries down, I don't smell it as much. And I don't realize, but even eight hours outdoors, this was still hanging around on me. And I couldn't smell a thing. I thought for sure after a few hours it was gone. I was still getting compliments eight hours later. And again, like on underneath layers and in my hair, I'll always squirt some in my hair so that maybe that's the breeze. So when the wind comes by and blows my hair, the perfume goes with it. It's a big key, just so you know. Spray the hair or if we have a ponytail and every time you're whipping your ponytail, the fragrance goes flying. So that's just a little tip. And no, as you can see, my hair is not dried out. I mean, and I color my hair and I, I, I do everything else to it, but I, I don't have issues with dryness in my hair. It's a, it's a very fruity fragrance. Like I said, the passion fruit in the pear is definitely prominent in the beginning, but that dry down has this beautiful vanilla musk sandalwood creaminess to it with this fruity top. Even though the fruits are in the top note, it still stays swirling in there, giving it this feminine kind of boost, but I get mad compliments from my male friends. Uh, a lot of them have purchased this for their wives because they loved it. They just absolutely love this one. The next one I get a lot of compliments on, uh, seems like every time I wear it, and I don't wear it as often because I have so many, but every time I wear it, I get compliments and from different people. And that is Raja Parfums 51. This one, um, true to Raja, you can't really just go by the notes because it really gives this whole big picture about it. And there's a very elegant, regal, feminine kind of vibe to this fragrance. It's a, it's a fruity floral, but more about the florals. There's a lot of naturals in it. So there's, there's certain elegant, natural kind of sweet florals floating through the air with a little bit of this like polished cos cosmetics-y kind of vibe where Raja's all tend to have a little bit of this powderiness to it. This like a little bit of cosmetics, like elegant, expensive cosmetics kind of feel to them. This very luxurious feel, but this one is definitely raspberry vanilla along with the florals, which is a mix primarily of rose and jasmine with that raspberry vanilla for sure. And it gives this beautiful, sweet, floral, fancy kind of vibe. It is not a punch you in the face fragrance. It's more of an elegance to it. There's something really nice about this and it's it's very pleasing to people. They, they kind of look at you in this higher way when you're wearing it, it's kind of funny but I always get mad compliments from this one, 51. The next one always surprises me, but it's another one that I get random compliments on that I totally don't expect. And from the most random people. And that is Dolce & Gabbana La Impertise number three. And it's a ridiculously affordable fragrance. You can get this at Ulta, but you can also find it on discounters for really like $40, like really ridiculous prices. And it's a beautiful watermelon, which watermelon is a very watery, aquatic kind of fruit, but has that like berry kind of flavor to it. It's, I, I think there's kiwi in here too, but I really personally get that watermelon here. So to me, it's kind of like an aquatic berry kind of like fruity, pink red fruits kind of feel to it. Along with a little bit of floral. So it's like this fruity floral but it's not super sweet or cloying because it's got that aquaticness to it, that watery fruit kind of thing to it. I go anosmic to this like instantly. <laughs> it's crazy. I always feel like, gosh, there's like nothing on me. Let me spray some more, let me spray some more. But I will get compliments when I think it's long gone, like by hours and it'll be someone random that I'm, I'm just interacting with for a second. It can be like a valet that I'm handing my keys to and I'll get a compliment. I'm like, oh really? Thank you. Like 
yeah, crazy. Typically in warmer weather is when I wear this too. Super delicious. I absolutely love this one. Love, love, love this one. I don't know about y'all, but I'm seeing a trend, right? You seeing a trend? It's like all the fruity fragrances. The next one is from Louis Vuitton, a Trap Revs. This is another fruity floral. Oh, this one is so good. This one, oh, I definitely get that cocoa with lychee. So you have that sweet tart lychee mixed with this rich, sweet cocoa that gives us richness along with pink flowers. I, I say pink flowers like pink roses or pink peonies, which girly pink flowers, sweetness of cocoa, sweetness of fruits, the cocoa mixes with the patchouli very nicely. It's kind of like this, it's blended really nicely where you have these girly florals, girly fruits, girly sweet mixing with the chocolate, the chocolate mixing with the patchouli. And it makes this really nice round fruity floral with that depth of the chocolate and the patchouli that it's but it's because it uses these nice girly pink florals, there is this levity to it, but it's also got this irresistibility because come on, chocolate, hello, chocolate. Did you hear me say chocolate? It's not a chocolate fragrance. This is not like gourmand coquine or anything like that. To me, this is a fruity floral with that chocolate richness in there, kind of pulling you in a little bit. The chocolate's like a sucker punch. You don't realize you're getting chocolate in there. Chocolate is a base note, but I get it at the first spray. It's there right away. So it's kind of like this and it, it settles down. Like if you wait two minutes, it settles down and it's less obvious. That's why I say it's like a sucker punch because you don't realize what's pulling you in there is the allure of chocolate. It's like the allure of driving past a restaurant that's making french fries. Like, who doesn't like the smell of french fries? It may be like banned from your diet like me, but I still enjoy the lore of the smell of french fries. Who can resist the lore of the smell of chocolate? I know. I know, right? So it's very irresistible, this one, and mad compliments from men on this one. It's really, really good. Okay, let me go there. The next one is, you guessed it, another fruity floral. And it's by Zerjoff and it's Herba Pura. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, that's the same as Kirka, isn't it? I've read on Fragrantica, it smells just like Kirka. <sighs> okay, they both open with passion fruit. So they both have that passion fruit in there which on first blast, you're gonna think they smell like. But if you're used to niche fragrances, you know, unlike designer fragrances, they change a lot as they dry down and they develop and they're not the same. They both open with passion fruit in the first five minutes. This one leans into, after drying a little bit, leans into the pear and like some woodiness and the vanilla musk, but really that pear and woodiness is what you get. Whereas this, it opens with that passion fruit. The passion fruit really stays, but it turns into a fruit bowl where it's a lot of fruit. You really, the passion fruit stays there and you can, you can get like apples and grapes and berries and a fruit bowl, like literally a fruit cocktail, not citrusy notes, not really stone fruits, but fruits like watermelon and berries and grapes and all that, along with this base of vanilla musk, which pretty much almost all the Zerjoffs dry down to, and I'm talking like 12 hours later, but it's a fruit bowl. And that fruit bowl is what stays. You just constantly for like 10 hours are projecting this fruit bowl in a vanilla musk base. I mean, and it's actually very refined smelling. It's very beautiful. It's blended well. Zerjoffs are done so well. 
this is, gosh, it's copied so much. And you'll hear like Casablanca and all these others that are super affordable, but they're just, ah, they're not as refined smelling. They're very harsh, but this is fruit bowl. This, the passion fruits there for like five minutes. And then it's really about the pear and the sand and the wood and the musky vanilla and all of that. Beautiful though. They're both incredible fruity fragrances, but they're not the same. This one is my all time favorite fragrance. This right up there is the Sea Fiori also as a favorite fragrance, but this is Raja Nua. This is like would be my signature scent if I had one. It's a very pricey signature scent to have. I'm not going to lie. I get it. This one is expensive. Look, I, I don't make the rules. You asked me the most complimented. This is the most complimented. I'm sorry. I know. Yes, it's a fortune. It is a fortune. I know. I know. I know. I bought it. I know. But it is exquisite. It is exquisite and I have to tell you my nail salon is still talking about this perfume. When I come in I still get, remember that perfume you were wearing? Yeah, no. Because I mean come on, I've been going to my nail girl for over 20 years, okay? The same place. I know, I'm a creature of habit. Always go there. They know me really well and especially now at the channel I'm always coming in like try this, try this, try this. Hey I'm gonna do a video on this, what do you think? And they still will bring up this one. I remember that one. It was so good. That's still my favorite. That's still my favorite. I, I made a post on Instagram about this where I was getting my nails done and somebody had their dog there that jumped up on me and was so ecstatic to see me, was wagging his tail, sniffing me up and down. And I joked, it must be the perfume. It drives all the boys crazy. And the whole place just died laughing. And sure enough, I mean, like, this dog would not stop. He was loving it. He finally settled down. I was sitting kind of across from them. Every other person that came in, he didn't bother. He didn't say a peep to them. But I, I let those women have some spritz because I always keep a travel size of this in my bag. And they were over the moon. Like, everyone was over the moon that I let them smell it. It's very, oh, gosh, luxurious luxurious and I find it to be feminine leaning I have male friends like Willie that wear it also uh, but you know he wears all sorts of niche fragrances but in general I find it a little feminine leaning it is your rose and your jasmine again and it has the benzoin and vanilla musk base with some sandalwood creaminess that gives this creamy luxurious veil draping over you that kind of just resonates this fluffiness around you. It's so good. It's so, so good. Yeah, there's also orange blossom in here that keeps it a little fresh. But this to me, I mean, this one lasts forever. This is one that will last 24 hours on me. It lasts and lasts and lasts. It's until, I mean, I shower twice and spray something else. But this will last, and especially on clothes, but even on my skin. And man, I love this one. I, I just, it's mood altering to me. It just, it's a hug. It's a kiss. It is warmth. It is, this one is God's love in a bottle. I, I just, that's what it is to me. God's love right here. It's incredible. And Nua is, is named after a goddess, Nua, uh, for humanity and all things beautiful in life. I, I think Chinese. I think it's Chinese goddess, Nua. The sandal and vanilla mixing in this luxurious way and again that Raja way where there's just this like smells like expensive cosmetics department kind of thing going on there's this subtle powderiness it just it smells very expensive it should it is expensive but this really smells expensive I, you know I, I don't always agree when people make that comment something looks or smells expensive because I look at quality and I can tell that ain't expensive. Sorry. Sorry, sister. That ain't expensive. Smelling or looking. This is. It's been like two, three months. They they still talk about it. It's this one. Just saying. Have not had this very long, so I'm surprised at the compliments I've gotten already. Like two months, three months, something. I don't know. I have to look back at my videos. But so I included it because that many in such a short period of time I had it included. It, and it's EBK. Ruby and Vanilla, 
neroli. Could also be, I'm in San Diego, this is a fresher version of the Ruby and Vanilla Intense. This is the third flanker of Ruby and Vanilla. There's the Intense, the Oud, and this now, the Neroli. And that Neroli, which some people don't like Neroli because I get it, it can be a little scratchy, kind of. Like you can feel it in the back of your throat a little bit. But this one, it's smoother. A little bit more like Orange Blossom, but it has that burst of like the opening note of citruses in a fragrance that give this vibrancy where you have that vibrancy of the neroli cutting through that rich ruby and vanilla fragrance which is a deep vanilla fragrance like a deep ambery vanilla fragrance <laughs> so good it's a beautiful sweet ambery syrupy vanilla that has been cut with the neroli and citrus kind of like shining you got like the sun shining a light through it, kind of breaking it up a little bit and making it airier and less dense and syrupy. So you have that same sweetness there, but it's been broken up. But it is so darn good. Yes, like I can't stop sipping this now. There's something very addictive about that sweet ambery vanilla in here. Very syrupy vanilla. Syrupy sweet. Doesn't get so syrupy and it doesn't really have that almond like the intense does it gets really rich and syrupy and almond like and is definitely more opulent and evening like uh, this one stays light and bright and it's great spring summer fall daytime evening you can even wear it at night like it's great for that wonderful for that so 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 good but yeah definitely compliment magnet also those are my nine total compliment magnets that just stand out as constantly getting random compliments. And I don't ask for it and I don't wear my fragrances based on compliments. Again, I wear them for me, but who doesn't like a compliment? I mean, come on, who doesn't like getting a compliment? We all like getting it. We don't seek it or need it, but it's always nice, right? And it's, it's kind of a good feeling when someone says you smell good. It's a good feeling. Can't deny that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to feel good, right? We feel good. So anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.